Uh, hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. So once again, I'm on the way to the same tire shop where I got my stock springs replaced with the D2 Sport Springs because I want to get some spring buffers installed which I have right over here with me. I uh, got them for a pretty good price uh, on Shopee. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get uh, some spring buffers for yourself. So I want to go get these spring buffers installed because like most other people who has uh, used this D2 Sport Springs or Gap, they want to install these buffers because they have experienced uh, some differences in driving where the car tends to become a bit bouncier, I think, I'm not sure. Um, but basically when you drive the car with these D2 Sport Springs, the, the springs that are on the rear especially, they don't seem to uh, be as firm as the stock springs. So basically that means whenever I go over a speed bump or a few bumpy roads, it feels like the rear of the car is a bit more bouncy than usual and it, I'm kind of concerned that it might get a bit too low to the ground, especially when going over speed bumps, that it might scrape the car. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to head over to the tire shop and get these buffers installed. So in theory, by getting these spring buffers installed onto the rear springs, in theory, there should be less movement uh, on the rear springs in terms of bounciness up and down. So it should be a bit more firm. It should be. And of course, later on, I'll be doing a comprehensive review video on how the D2 Sport Springs feel with the spring buffers installed as well. Okay, so as you can see, the process of installing the spring buffers was super quick. All they had to do was pretty much just lift the car up and stick the spring buffers between the coils of the sport springs. And that's it, that's pretty much all they had to do. It's a pretty quick process. And now as I'm driving the car, I can immediately feel the effect of the spring buffers taking place. So basically before I had the spring buffers installed, I could feel almost every imperfection in the road. Every time I go over a speed bump, I would be so concerned that I would scrape the bottom of my car. But now that I have the spring buffers installed, it's as if those concerns are no more. Like, I'm going over a speed bump right now, and the bounciness of the sport springs before I had the spring buffers installed is, is gone. Like, it's as if, in a weird way, the feeling of stock springs has returned in the sense that the rear suspension now feels more solid. And I feel so much more confident now going over speed bumps, I don't have to worry about scraping the underside of my car. So basically for those of you who are using sport springs as well, I highly recommend and encourage you to buy the spring buffers and install them immediately because there's no point in driving around and you know having to be worried about scraping the underside of your car, it's just really pointless. And it's not even that expensive, so I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can buy the spring buffers online on Shopee, it's pretty cheap. Uh, I got mine for 15 ringgit excluding postage, so yeah, that's pretty much it really. It's not that expensive and I think it's a worthwhile investment along to add on to your sports springs. 
So I guess that's all for this video. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Leave a like if you like. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.